now we're coming to the good bit the pilot screw the pilot screws are factory preset and should not be removed unless the carburetors are overhauled well could you call this an overhaul that I'm doing I suppose you could I had a job finding them I have to say I really did they're actually here 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 and here Pilot screws, they have several different names. I just call them pilot screw because Mr. Honda calls them pilot screw. What you do is you screw them in gently, counting the turns that until you, they actually come up against resistance, which is them seated. And you, you take a note, I'll write down how many screws, how many turns they were in. Then I'll know how to turn them out again or how many to turn them out whenever I'm reassembling. I'm starting to ramble again. You just count them in half turns basically. So we're going to start with a, a kind of awkward to get at, a half, one, one and a half, ah, one and a half, and that's it seated. So that's probably going to be the same for all the carburetors to be truthful. So I can now screw this out again completely, see from the knowledge that it was one and a half screws out from fully in. Hopefully we'll get everything out of this. Okay, the screw. Here's the spring strand to come out. All right, there's the this very small taper I was telling you about on the end of it. I need to get that cleaned as well, delicately, because if you damage that, it can cause a bit of bother. And they're not cheap. Inside this now, there is a washer and a rubber o-ring. Which I'm going to have to attract out with the power of attraction. Okay, I'll have to bring you back in this one. Maybe if I blast some WD-40 into the hole, it'll blast the O-ring out. Here goes. Maybe not. Oh, it did. <laughs> it did. Look. There's the washer. Delicate That's stuff. Noticed I've sprayed some carb clean into the hole and I noticed that it came out here. So if I put some compressed air in here and keep my finger over the end of the hole, maybe it'll move the, the o ring out. Theory is good, but in practice nothing's happened. Eh, Mr. Honda doesn't tell you how to cope with this. Sure he doesn't. I've got a recalcitrant O-ring. Guess what? Whew. A small piece of wire and the mobile phone for a torch. And I managed to get it out. <laughs> I don't want to say panic stations are set in there, but it certainly wasn't playing game. There's, look at all the size of that wee ring. If you can even see it. Right, let's not lose this. Hopefully the other three carburetors won't be as bad. Well, that's the setup, very much like the manual. Screw, spring, washer and o-ring there's a wee bit of dirt in the end of that which I'll have to get taken off very carefully with the carb clean I've removed the second pilot screw and the washer and the o-ring are still in the carburetor and I've tried everything and I can't get them out now I'm working on a principle 
that this is not the main issue with the carburetors anyway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pilot screw and the other one back in again and leave them in there because I'm going to end up doing more damage and getting myself into more problems just by unnecessarily panicking about trying to get these screws out. So I'm afraid they're going back in again. I'll take the other and I'll clean the, the tip of them with carb clean so that they're clean as a whistle, they're going back in that way and I'll remove the other two and clean them with the carb clean and then we're just going to take it from there. There's no point in busting myself trying to do something that I don't necessarily need, need to do. So. That's it fully in. A half, one, one and a half. That's it back to where it was, and it's cleaner than it was because I've gone through the whole thing with carb cleaner. Okay, okay, let's do the last two and move on. Right. Pilot screws all back in again, cleaned and whatever. The next thing I want to do, because of the starting issue being off a cylinder at startup. There are four choke plungers. Uh, where's the lever? I'll maybe show you. These are these are the plungers here, and I really would like to get these plungers out of the body of the carburetor, clean them, and put them back in again. Now, unfortunately, the plungers are there's a linkage runs here across the two, and then joins the two back carburetors to the two front carburetors. That's how it works. That's the choke on and choke off on and off, on and off. This one I'll be able to get out quite easily. We'll start with it, we'll loosen that screw, that'll swing round and get that plunger out. We'll go with that and see what happens. There we go. Slagging that off a bit. There you go, uh, that's simple enough. Don't even need to take that off. I wonder what size that is, what do you reckon? 14? Let's have a look. 14. I think it's 14. It's only finger tight because it's actually plastic. Inside this there is a plunger and a spring. Over there. All looks very clean in there. Now how do we get the difficult ones out? That's the problem. little boy here. I don't think they can come out without splitting the carburetor. We'll go to the next step. I've had these screws here out before. This is a kind of, a, I don't want to say it's an inlet manifold, but it's just a, it's basically what holds the four carbs together. They've got wee locking tabs on them. I'll get these tabs back and get the screws off and maybe give us a bit more freedom of movement. This is the next step in the Honda manual. It says to take this off anyway, so... Oh yeah. Oh, that's a great feeling. Lovely click whenever those go. There you boy. Okay. 
Eh? Ah, what holds that on, do you think? It's actually so finely machined, obviously by Mr. Honda. That's why it's such a tight fit. Ah, you can see now these little jets are touching the body. That's why it won't come apart. What everybody has to say. Mr. Honda says, take out the screws and take it off and stop being such a pussy about it. I had to actually slacken a couple of the screws that hold the four carbs together just to give that wee bit of extra free play. We're off on one side. The, oh, there you go. They call this the air intake chamber. Let's get it all back round the proper way again. There you are, front end. He also says remove the O-rings, which we shall do with the little picker tool. It would appear by the removal of these two screws, air intake off these two screws, the whole thing's all become a fairly slack. Uh, one of my worries is springs and these pipes. These pipes are bound to have O-rings. These are the fuel feed pipes. These ones here, this is the fuel feed goes into the brown pipes and these are the returns in fact overflows these aren't that important but this these ones here are it's okay so that'll come out Ooh, there's that spring oh lord okay This one carburetor is going to come away with a few bits and pieces. Right. Hi. Okay. We've gone and done it now, haven't we? Right, the spring is in between the two. What's going to happen next? That one's come away, this one's going to come away this way. And it's funny those springs are different, isn't that weird? It's getting all these flipping things lined up again when you're trying to get it all back together is going to be the fun part. Right, that's that carburetor. <laughs> oh, boys. Now look at that. Somebody's been here before. I wonder who. Big Al. Well, whenever you set them all out again, they'll all go back into their respective places, won't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead on, son. Okay, so now we're left with these two carburetors. Um. These are the two that I want to get the choke plungers out of. I can do that now by separating them. Right, there seems to be this is a 7mm nut on here which will release the spindle for the choke lever which then should release the choke plunger. 
Well, we'll go for that. plastic tube. Ah, the plastic tube will come out. The plastic tube. And there's a spring in there as well. Take out the plastic tube. I'm still going to have to take off that wee split pin which I know I don't have a replacement for. That's a very small split pin. Out. Don't want to lose that washer. This should rise up out of this. Yeah. Okay. Then this should free this up to move. There you go. Oh, golly goodness. Did you see that? Did you see that sneaky washer there? Uh, he tried to sneak away on me. He must go. On top of that. Gulp. Let's get these things back together again before I forget where they go. I get this plunger out. For some reason that I couldn't quite figure out this wee plastic tube for the choke lever was incredibly tight. That's it out now. This should basically free up everything. And it does. Get these all tidied up as well. That plunger goes in there. There's not much left of this anymore, sure there's not. The thing is, I don't actually need to take these any further apart. Because they will fit into the um They'll fit into the ultrasonic cleaner the way they are. Let's get that back over there. It's a 22 litre one. That wee bit, the wee sieve, is for the jets and stuff. Let's just have a look. Now obviously there's no liquid in it. I'm waiting for the stuff to come. A 
looking good, eh? And still plenty of space to put the other bits and pieces in. I might have to try and source new O-rings for these fuel pipes. They're actually perished, you can see there. Some new O-rings would go down well. Might even see Mr. Honda, see if I can get something sorted out with him. They're very old. Very old looking. Okay. I think we'll call it a day. And I'll bring you back whenever we get the ultrasonic cleaner set up. Wouldn't my nerves settle a bit? 